In this video, we're going to learn how to change HTML content and attributes uh, using jQuery. Uh, first, we're going to be using the same source code uh, showing our three divs, Facebook, Apple, and Microsoft. All right. And um, the objective of this session is to uh, create a few buttons. And when we click on those buttons, we'd like the content of these divs to change. All right. So let's start with Facebook and create a button that will change the content of Facebook. So we're going to create a button just after the Microsoft div. All right. Um, let's write some text there. So change Facebook. And I want to change the text here. So you're going to say change Facebook text. And let's give it an ID. Change Facebook. All right. So let's go inside our document ready function to uh, write our jQuery code. Um, so first of all, we need to access the uh, button and say in the event of clicking on the button, we're going to access Facebook and change the contents of Facebook. Okay. So the syntax is, so we need a selector for the uh, button using its ID. So it's change Facebook. And then the event here is click. And we're going to need to uh, put everything between parentheses. And it's going to be a definition of a function. And the code of the function is going to be between curly brackets. So we need to access the Facebook div. So you're going to use the selector of the ID of Facebook, which is Facebook. And then we're going to use a method here. It's text. And it's it needs one parameter, which is going to be a string. So how this method works is going to take this parameter and whatever we put between the quotes is going to replace the uh, content of Facebook. So basically the content of Facebook is everything between the uh, div tags, which is what we uh, just highlighted. All right. So let's try, for instance, this is Facebook. And let's see what happens. So you can see there that once we clicked on the button, the content has just changed. And this, this is showing exactly the same HTML code here. The only thing that changed is that rather than having the a paragraph and a span in it, we just have some text there, which is uh, between uh, whatever is between the uh, quotes. All right. Okay. Now we're going to try something else. We're, we're going to create another uh, button um, and we want that button to change the content of Apple. And this time we will change the uh, content using uh, some HTML code. All right. So we're just going to copy paste the same code. So this time, so we need to access another button that will change Apple. So let's create that uh, button. I'm going to call it change Apple. And let's say here, change Apple HTML, because we're going to be using some HTML code to replace the content. Okay, so change so we're accessing change Apple uh, button and the statement is going to be um, accessing the uh, Apple div and rather than using uh, the text method uh, this time we're going to use another method It's called HTML. So what this method is doing is going to be taking um, a parameter and inside the parameter we're going to be writing some HTML code. So that HTML code is going to replace whatever HTML code is between the div tags of uh, the Apple div. Okay, so let's try something like this. So for example, um, let's try, this is Apple. That's one paragraph. Let's add another paragraph. Um, for example, new iOS available. And let's close the paragraph. So now we're expecting this 
um, HTML code to replace the uh, content of the um, Apple uh, div, which is which is this. Okay, let's save and refresh the page. And now let's click on the button, and we can see that the uh, content of the uh, Apple uh, div has just changed to our um, couple of paragraphs. All right. Okay. Now we're going to try something else. We're going to create uh, an input. Okay. Just there. And uh, we are going to create another button that will change the value of the uh, input. So let's create the input uh, just before the uh, buttons. So let's put it inside a paragraph. Okay. Okay, we need to add another statement here. So we're just going to copy paste the same statements. So this time we're going to access another button. So let's create another button. Let's go, let's have an ID for the button, change input. Change input value. All right. So change input. We have only one input there, so we can just use the uh, input type. And now we're going to use another method. It's uh, called val. So what this method is going to be doing, it's going to be taking a parameter. So again, it's a string. So it's going to be taking um, the uh, value of the, uh, of the string and it's going to be replacing the value of the input uh, by the string there. So if we use, for example, um, sum, Let's add some text just before the inputs. So for example, enter your name. Okay. And now let's refresh the page. And if you click on the button, so we can see that the value of the input has just changed to the uh, string we have used there. All right. Okay. Now we're going to see how to change the uh, attributes of links. So we're going to be creating a link inside the Microsoft div and we're going to write some code so that we can click on a button and change the href of the link all right and also we can change the title of the link as well so let's go for that so first of all let's create a paragraph inside the uh, Microsoft div it's going to be another uh, paragraph there and inside the paragraph let's have a link so let's have uh, an href for the link um, so HTTP colon forward slash forward slash um, let's go for uh, microsofts.com and also let's have a title Microsoft and also let's give it an ID um, and let's uh, go for uh, Microsoft's uh, link Okay, Microsoft link. Okay, let's add some text there. Okay, so now let's write some jQuery code. So we're going to be accessing the the button that will change the Microsoft link. So first, let's create that button. Um, and call it change Microsoft okay change Microsoft okay so we're accessing the button by its ID so change Microsoft and the event is click all right everything goes between parentheses and that's wha where we define our uh, function let's close the query brackets and now we need a statement where we access uh, the uh, Microsoft link so we need a selector using the ID of the link so Microsoft link okay and then uh, we're going to uh, uh, use an, another method here to change the attributes of the link. It's uh, the attribute uh, method. Okay, so uh, let's uh, pay attention to the syntax. It's A-double-T-R. All right. And then um, 
the method is going to be taken as a uh, parameter um, something between uh, curly brackets okay and uh, we can put as many uh, parameters um, as we want okay so we can go for one two um, uh, and more so the syntax is going to be a parameter uh, between uh, quotes followed by uh, colon and then between quotes we're gonna uh, put the value of the uh, parameter so let's change the href first so we're gonna change it to something else so we're gonna go for HTTP for uh, colon forward slash forward slash uh, let's go for the uh, Google homepage homepage okay and then to add another uh, parameter we uh, use a comma and this time we want to go for the title okay let's change the title to uh, Google so we're changing here both the href and the title so let's try this so now if we hover on the uh, Microsoft link we can see that the title is Microsoft and if we click that it's going to take us to the Microsoft web page now if we click on the link and we check the title is Google now and also if you click there it's going to take you to the Google homepage all right